<laughs> My goodness, the things we would go into. So Octavia Butler's Wild Seed series, where she predated Make America Great and The Wall and economies collapsing and growing, and um, Margaret Atwood's Matt Adams series, where she again predated many of the things that are happening, and some that are frankly, hopefully never gonna happen, or not within our lifetimes. Hmm. There's many things, but I think mostly it would be my mother. So um, as a three-year-old, I remember she had this favorite work suit, and she would, you know, she loved it. And I thought, I'm gonna make this better. <laughs> and I cut it up. And she came home, and instead of punishing me, which is what, honestly, badass three-year-old should have been done, <laughs> she took the time to show me how to sew, which was something she's always been a master at. She can look at a garment and just recreate it. And I've appreciated that flexibility no matter where we've lived, for her to be um, strict about many things, but not me being creative. Well, architecture in general is something that I always consider. It's a space, spaces that are usually created with economic hierarchies and with bodies, specific bodies in mind. And what I do like about this space here is that me as a shorter person, I feel like everything is at my height. Everything is made for someone like me to feel welcome and like it's accessible. So if I could study with master sculptors over time, Benin or Nkisi sculptors would be fantastic. Dineo Popape, she's another sculptor who creates these environments. We were in a show together recently and she will literally gather the environment around her and create something that's atmospheric and spiritual. Maybe most people don't know that I am, I work at night. And that even though there's so much sunlight in my work, it's a sunlight that comes from memory, from growing up in the Caribbean, that gets translated into these work environments and many times in the Northeast, where it'll be the middle of winter <laughs> in a, at 5 a.m. making this painting. When did I come to the U.S.? Um, I was actually speaking to a young lady when I first came to the museum, and she was asked, where are you really from? So, acknowledging that you come from many, many spaces and that it's something that would be generous to share with other people. But sometimes being in the moment and saying, I am here, I am of this shared space with you now, um, which is tricky. It's something that as a person you want to be in, but as someone negotiating the world, you know that it's something that you are going to have to answer. Thank you.